How many different cars have you had in your career? 27 different jet cars uh, in my career, and uh, Lord knows how many other, the, the Nitro Funny cars, the 27 jet cars. 27 jet cars. There really uh, can't be anybody else in the world that's anywhere close to that. Yeah, my, uh, my brother's really got to work out, uh, Phil and Bill, over the years uh, of building cars. We campaigned two cars at the same time for a number of years, and... Uh, I would. Uh, we had at times we had other drivers that would drive the, the the second car, but a lot of the time I'm racing here Saturday night. I'm racing somewhere else Sunday. I would just fly to the next place. Roger, moving around your office here, you have so much, so many pictures, and there's been some people here that has really played a key role in my career. Uh, I don't know where I would be today without some of them. Um, there's uh, Marvin Richin uh, from m &H Tire. He's been a wonderful friend for, for over 40 years that uh, used his uh, m &H Tires forever. And, uh, of course, uh, on up here is uh, Don Garlitz, uh, another great friend. Here is some kind of a picture. Uh, this is Arnie Beswick, uh, Pontiac fame, the funny cars. Dino Don Nicholson and his uh, crew chief for so many years, Earl Wade, uh, we dine, Dino passed, as you know. He was good friends. I used to talk to him almost daily before that happened. Beswick has been racing since he was a kid, and he'll be racing when he's 100 years old. He's one of the most dedicated guys that's ever climbed behind the wheel of a race car, and he is dedicated. I raced him back in the 60s along with Nicholson. And here's Don Warner, the uh, owner president of uh, Argus Publishing Company that owned Auto Star Productions and the Super Chevy Show and Super Chevy magazine and on and on my old pal uh, Tommy Ivo Jack Pfeiffer who is one of the greatest guys I've ever known who was with Leo Burnett advertising helped me put the lava soap deal together and of course here is uh, uh, Don Garlitz his uh, wife Pat my wife uh, Susan and me at, at the Hall of Fame induction when I was inducted into the International Racing Hall of Fame in 2001 great honor uh, I can't even tell you lucky how it how honored I was and how humble I was for that uh, that opportunity to uh, to be inducted into the International Drag Racing Hall of Fame down at uh, Gainesville, which is based at uh, um, Don's Museum down in Ocala, and uh, it's great. I uh, spent this uh, past year down there with uh, my wife Susan and Ed Zinke, the publisher of uh, Super Chevy Magazine, and every trip, everybody that ever has any interest in drag racing, go visit Don Garlitz Museum of Drag Racing in Ocala, Florida. It is a fine one, as well as the Wally Parks uh, Museum of Motorsports out at uh, Pomona. Here is the um, the president, Mr. Dorgerson, uh, when he was giving me my plaque for, he was the president of the um, uh, National Safety Council. Sir Zora Duntoff, uh, Corvette guy. the Corvette guy, and uh, well, it was a great visit that I had with him at Indy a number of years ago. Here is John Pepper uh, here, uh, who was the CEO of Procter & Gamble, my lava machine days, and he's now the uh, CEO of Disney. Uh, one of the really great people that of uh, my career, this is Bernie Fox, the owner of F&F &F Laboratories and with the Smith Brothers Golf Drop Car. And, of course, I don't wonder sometimes where we would be with uh, our world of drag racing if it hadn't been for uh, my good friend that I miss him all the time, uh, Wally Parks. He, he was just uh, an absolute uh, icon to me and uh, really a very very good friend and uh, sure helped my career a whole lot and i i appreciate all these people over on this wall is uh, really uh, the, the important wall it's my family uh, my two brothers uh, phil uh, on one side bill on the other bill is with me bill practically runs the super chevy shows uh, at the events he does a great job my Three beautiful daughters, and uh, Leanne and Pam and Val, and there is uh, the two young ones there is uh, Abby and uh, Rebecca, and uh, other pictures of the family there, my mom and dad, who uh, certainly didn't have a lot of uh, 
uh, hopes of my career making it for many years. The three boys, uh, Phil, Bill, and I, we sort of grew up on quarter horses, and uh, we work with uh, draft horses, work horses. My dad was truly uh, a horse and buggy guy, and my mom was just a wonderful farm wife that uh, took care of three really ordinary boys. Or Bill wasn't so bad, but Phil, Phil made up for it, and, and I wasn't no saint either. So uh, they... Um, they, they lived on a farm until they passed a few years ago, and they, they were proud of uh, what we had accomplished in the world of drag racing uh, over the years. But they got pretty tired of those uh, late-night phone calls that Roger just crashed and was in this hospital or that one. They, I was a great worry to them, I promise you. Now, did they ever get to the point to where... They kind of got used to the crashes, and it didn't worry them so much? Never. Never, <laughs> never, never, never. never. Uh, they didn't, and neither did my daughters either. Uh, they, uh, they did a lot of worrying.